All right, weather report time. Some interesting weather, especially in the high country. Some rain on Sunday, windy conditions. Been, for the most part, absolutely gorgeous in the valleys. Let's go to the weather map. Sierra Way Media Forecaster Dennis Mattinson noting that today low pressure moved along the central California coast, then inland system eventually be absorbed by a deeper system drifting southward from western Canada. Breezy to windy conditions through Tuesday. About a 20% chance of some showers and thunderstorms in Mono County. Dennis Mattinson noting snow is possible in the higher elevations of the Sierra, maybe about 9,500 feet. Temperatures taking a nosedive beginning today, staying cooler than normal for most of the week. That's actually how people describe me, cooler than normal. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 34 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley. 50 degrees. Mammoth June, Mono County on Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies, southwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Again, that chance of some thunderstorms. 52 just the high in Mammoth, low of half that, 26 degrees. Mostly sunny skies for Wednesday for Mono County. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, warming up to 62 for the high in Mammoth, overnight low of about 30 degrees. And Thursday, mostly sunny skies for Mono County. Northeast winds just to about 5 to 10 miles an hour, 65 the high in Mammoth. Overnight lows around 33 degrees. Tuesday for the Owens Valley, partly cloudy skies and again, chance of a stray thunderstorm or two. Northwest winds could kick up 10 to 15 miles an hour, some gusts to 20. 75 the high in Mammoth. Overnight low, excuse me, 75 the high in Bishop. Overnight lows in the lower 40s. Wednesday, sunny skies for the valley. Just a little southwest wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 81 the high. Overnight lows and again in the lower 40s. Sounds like a lovely late summer day. And more in the same for Thursday. Mostly sunny skies. Maybe a little south west wind out there 5 to 10 miles an hour 84 the high in bishop overnight lows in the mid 50s so again a little bit of weather coming through mother nature we just want a lot of weather coming through once the uh, winter starts see how uh, you can do about that i'll tell you who uh, did a good job uh, friday night that would be the bishop union high school football team let's head out to bishop union high school's john schwab field where the well arch rivalry uh, between the mammoth huskies and the bishop broncos it's it's more mammoth and bishop than Broncos and Huskies, but you know what we're saying. Uh, they got out there and played some non-league football uh, Friday. Uh, Bishop Broncos coming away with a 43-6 victory against the visiting Mammoth Huskies. I'd admit, kind of disappointed in the crowd out there. A few people started to get there on the Bishop side, but boy, it just doesn't seem like it was several years ago. Still some uh, good playing by uh, especially the Bishop Broncos. Mammoth Huskies helping out Bishop with a couple of turnovers deep in their own territory. Broncos uh, converting those into touchdowns. Also had uh, a couple of long TD runs, passes. So that yeah, was the Bishop Broncos under first-year coach uh, varsity coach Arnie Palu getting first win of the season after two losses, 43 to six win for Bishop Mammoth uh, after a win previous week against Upland Christian Academy at one and one. Bishop had 17 penalties for 165 yards. I was there for most of the first half and my eyes were getting blinded by all of the yellow flags that were being thrown. Uh, Bishop played without Injured quarterback Ryan Graves, no problem. Isaac Morgenstein came in, 5 of 6, 64 yards. Touchdown pass in there. That went to Hunter Warsdorf. Ah, had two receptions for 75 yards and that TD. Hey, Mario Velasquez, four receptions for 40 yards. For Bishop Arturo Limos, 39-yard touchdown uh, reception. And Morgenstein also had 78 yards rushing. Two touchdowns, including a 56-yarder. Have a game, uh, Isaac Morgenstein. Sean Brown, 11 rushes for 62 yards and a touchdown. Hey, Mike Molina had a seven-yard touchdown run. Defensively for Bishop, Alan Torres and Ryan Rennie both had interceptions. Mammoth quarterback Christian Oreck. Uh, for the Huskies was 6 for 14, 42 yards, had an interception in there. Carlos Morales had two receptions for 25 yards. Hey, Carson Thompson, two for 13. As we said, the Bishop Broncos now one and two on the season. Broncos have a bye this week. We'll be playing at Silver Valley. Boy, that's a lovely trek to Yermo on September 23rd. Silver Valley is now two and one on the season uh, following a 10-0 loss to tough Calvary Murrieta. Silver Valley will be at Mammoth this Friday, Galt McClure, uh, Galt McClure Stadium, and that is a 6 o'clock kickoff this Friday, Silver Valley at Mammoth. Boy, lots of volleyball action at Mammoth over the weekend, Friday and Saturday. Take a look here at the Mammoth Girls Varsity 
volleyball team Huskies third place for the third year in a row in the Mammoth Invitational Tournament. Yosemite took first place. Rim of the World placed second. Huskies, good start in pool play Friday, went five and one, seated fourth going into Saturday's double elimination format. Coach John Morris said defeated rival Bishop 25-17, 25-18. Then the Huskies faced Rim of the World, easily defeated, Coach Morris said, by the much larger Division Four team. Mammoth is in Division Nine. Mammoth came back with wins over Rosamond and Cal City. Mammoth beaten three high desert league teams there, then faced Rim again for the losers bracket final. Coach John Moore said the fired up Huskies put up a fight for the ages. Rim prevailed 25-19, 25-22. But Moore said the score was irrelevant, said he's never seen a team compete so hard with so much joy and passion. Rim was obviously heavily favored, but our girls showed how far teamwork and determination can do. So nice uh, effort there by the Mammoth Girls volleyball team. Uh, the Huskies third place uh, in the Mammoth Invitational for the third year in a row. All right, let's show some, uh, well, uh, another heat of the Bishop Volunteer Fire Department Destruction Derby. Well, as we like to say, cars running into each other, what's more fun than that? That's wrapping up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, Alt 92.5, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.